Okay, this video, we are actually going to add up a consecutive sequence of numbers. So let's start with 1 plus 2 plus 3, and let's go all the way up to 100. So we're going to add up these numbers all the way to 100. Now, there's, of course, the long way, but no one in their right mind would do that, especially if you're taking the GRE and only have, well, a limited amount of time to do any one problem. So is there a shortcut, a quick way to do this? Well, there is. <laughs> and the logic is as follows. Here's 1, here's 100. What happens when we add them up? We get 101. And you may think now, OK, well, so what? Well, good question. Let's put this 99 in here. I'm going to move in or down one number to 99. And from the very lowest range here at 1, I'm going to move up a number. So I now have 2 plus 99. I add these two together. What do I get? I get 101 because I went one up but one down. So nothing changed. We were basically at 101. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many 101s are there? Well, if we move in the way I talked about, going up one, down one, we will always get a sum of 101, and we will always be pairing off numbers. And so we want to ask ourselves, how many pairs of 101s are there? Well, if we have 100 numbers, 1 through 100, how many pairs of, the, of 100 are there? Well, there are 50 pairs. And just like that, 101 times 50 gives us 5,050. And that is how you add the consecutive series if the first number is 1. Now, oftentimes, the first number isn't 1. And that's where it's important to know how to count the number of terms. So let's say we want to count from 10. Now let's use an example of someone doing jumping jacks. They are going to start with 10. They're going to go up to 11, up to 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way to 25. 25 jumping jacks, and then exhausted, they stop, and they want to know, how many jumping jacks did I just do? And we want to, of course, be able to answer that by adding up all these numbers, not manually, but following the method we did here above. So what we did is we took the first and we took the last. So in this case, 10 and 25. And over here, we divided by 2. So we're going to say 10 plus 25 divided by 2. OK, so far so good. But another crucial step here is we knew the number of terms to be 100. When we're adding from 10 all the way up to 25, how many terms do we have? Now, if you right away say, oh, that's easy. We have 15 terms. Definitely stop right there and go back to the video on number of terms. But if you watch that video, you know that you always take the last minus the first plus one. That plus one is key. So instead of 25 minus 10, we have 25 minus 10 plus one. And that gives us 16. So now we can add this up right here. We get 35 over 2. Remember this here equals 16. So we can multiply by 16. And now it's much easier to solve. Divide out the 2 there with the 16. That gives us 8. 35 times 8 is 280, which is an awful lot of jumping jacks. But if you're able to get this problem, then you're ready to go on to the next round.